hi guys welcome back to my channel so we're gonna jump straight into the video today because i know i've been saying i'm gonna start this organization series but um some of you may or may not know that i did lose my granny august the 10th so i haven't been able to post how i wanted to post for the month of august it's been rough but i'm slowly regaining myself again and just getting back to my normal schedule routine so bear with me today we're going to just focus on organizing binders um labeling things just some tips and tricks that should get you through the semester and through a successful school year so if you came to my channel for that make sure you don't forget to subscribe like and share this content with a friend because we all need to stick together it's just always good to share information when i get good information i want to share it so these are tips and tricks i learned from just experience i am an lpn i've already been an lpn before i started the rn program at my school um that's a whole nother story time of how i had to switch schools but i'm at cincinnati state and i'm in semester two of five and uh, it's nursing 102 so i'm just going to jump straight into it and show you how i'm being organized for this semester and typically usually any semester that i take or any class that i take a college level class this is how i get my semester started and i kind of keep that same tempo i try to but you know trialing it one thing before i get started please do not forget to comment below i love hearing back from y'all i love hearing y'all feedback let me know some things that you do like uh maybe do you do some things that i shown you in this video or do you have something to add to this or you know some tricks for me some tips for me you know whatever makes life easier please feel free to share that um also what do you want to see next in this organization series? Do we want to organize the closet? Do we want to organize the refrigerator? Do we, what do we want to organize? So, you know, let me know what you guys want to see next. I'm always open to hear what you have to say. Love you. Okay, so here is my binders. And um, I have three classes, clinical, lab, and lecture. So I have three binders for it to keep everything separate. That is my index card box and my laptop and my pencil bag uh additional hole puncher i have an industrial one but yeah and i print all of these at work or at home um and just make my own binder covers i put my graduation date on there just to keep the end in mind and these bins I got from my mother-in-law, but me and my son will be using those as like a catch-all. And then this Essex cart came from Michael's for about 70 bucks on sale. And each drawer I just assigned to something. This is my planner drawer. And, um, yep, I just keep my stickers and planner stuff in there. And my computer is a touch screen. I love that. Uh, added feature uh, I think all computers now <laughs> might be touch screen but I just like that and it's a Dell Spirion 2-in-1 this little pouch I got from Walmart it's like a little backpack with unicorn and hearts on it and I just keep my headphones in there and like uh, memory sticks like you know and then this is my es essential binder and I keep everything in there like Papers I need to turn in, uh, my little flaggers, and this little booklet I got from Big Lots, I believe, for about a dollar, dollar or two. And it just has some little notepads and with flagger, a uh, neon color book. Then this is my tabs. Um, I have about 15 tabs. I got this from Staples, and it's color-coded and labeled by a number and I already got my week one in this is the PowerPoint and I printed it all in color just so um, everything could just pop out and attract me to study everything is about studying 
And then I keep a little uh, index card in there just to remind me of like certain new passwords I might have made or something like that. And uh, I want to show you this. This is one of the key things that's helped me throughout uh, semesters is keeping up with test dates and which sections cover what test and stuff like that. So I know what to study. And, um, and this one had a little index content page where you can make labels for that so that's a great thing to get go to staples uh what else those two bins I already said and um i love that this car um it can fold down so it can not take up a lot of space it was easy to not that hard to put together um i like that it's just simple and it's mobile and it's still uh, easy on the eyes so yep that's that and uh, this drawer is just like my junk drawer but I just want to show you this assignment notebook I got from Dollar Tree and it has like net labels for like notes where you can write your own list and I also have days of the week it has a check off list due dates class assignment uh, like I just I liked it for a dollar. These are a lifesaver flaggers. You you cannot live without flaggers. Those are some little dry erase markers for my dry erase board, and they have the erasers on the tip. Some earplugs for when I take online tests, so I'm not distracted by noise and sound. This is some washi tape, glues and tape, other regular scotch tape erasers. Um. Gosh, that tape was expensive, but I do use coupons, so Hobby Lobby, 40% off coupons for this washi tape, and I use that in my planner, sometimes in my notes if I'm being very fancy. Here's some binder clips in different sizes with little notes on them to do. Uh, I might put some immediate papers in there that I might need to do or study, and then here's my son's drawer, and here is an extra bag. And it says, um, if you can dream it, you can do it. So, that has my extra sanitizers in there. Those are marshmallow pumpkin latte, and they smell so good. So, I bought about, like, about five or six of them. They were on sale, too. And here are some sticker books from the Happy Planner. Uh, just, uh, here's one that I just found this time. It's a nursing one, and it has, like, really, really cute nursing stickers and nursing-related quotes and stuff. So, here's some Nurse Life, which is one of the pound signs I always use on my Instagram pictures. Follow me at Codename Diva um, to stay updated on what I've got going on. And uh, here's these cute little nurse ladies. Payday, see the lady throwing money. I thought that was so cute. And vacation lady, which is what I need. But, yeah. Okay, guys. So, that was a short mini tutorial, as I promised, of, of little things and tips of how I stay organized in my desk area. And uh, just preparing for the new semester. And now, I'm going to do a little short what's in my clinical bag okay so this is a classic i've been waiting to say that for a long time but i love doing what's in my bag because i'm always curious of what's in somebody else's bag um as far as when it comes to school like how do people pack light because i always tend to be the one with like 10 bags and a bag for a bag sorry my husband's cooking dinner so if you hear some sizzling because he's cooking. So as you can see, I'll be leaving the links for everything below of um, off Amazon, of things I order off Amazon or any other sites. And um, this cute little badge here, I want to shout out a girl from my community, uh, which is, uh, her name is Elysion, and she owns Dynamic Nursing, and she has a, a store in Hamilton um, where she sells nursing items. So shout out to her and um i got this bag for under 30 bucks and it is embroidery it is not the vinyl you know the press on stuff it's stitching 
and it's really really cute and my work badge on here which I'm already LPN and this is my little beat up badge I've had over the years but I love it and I ordered this off Amazon and it's two tone it can be pink or blue and this is my little one of my work badges and a little uh, badge holder thing I keep that just holds extra cards for me um, and then here are some new badge clips I got uh, I'm all about the aesthetics so if it's cute I want it and here's one that has a little heart let me get it closer for you so it's so cute it has a little stethoscope and a heart and I love it and it says it's a beautiful day to save lives and I love that one because it's always a beautiful day. Can you see it? Yep. Okay. And enough of that. And then here's my contactless thermometer. And just press that and put it. See? No fever. No fever. 97.6. So you can put it right here. It's going to do the same thing. It's very accurate. Um, and if it's like super hot, like my computer screen or something, it will turn red. So it's pretty cool. I got this off Amazon too. And then um, it has these two little pockets on the side, which I'll probably put like uh, my water bottle right here. And probably some extra pens or highlighters so I can just grab it. Because the inside, unfortunately, does not have pockets. So, but it's okay because I only have big stuff in here anyway. So, one thing I have in here is a productivity sticker book. I love my planner stickers, y'all. I'm obsessed, like, with to-do list stickers, everything color-coded, pretty. I just, that's what I have to do. This is my planner for this year. I already put my little stickers on it with my name, CSA 2021. And, um... If you guys want a planner tour, let me know because I will give you a planner tour of how I set up my planner, my happy planner. I love the happy planner. It's probably like my fourth year using it and I love it. Next, uh, let's see what I have in here. Okay, I have my Conquest Digital Blood Pressure Cuff and it's just, okay, it's just this one and you just turn it on like that and this go and I put my name on everything because honey let me tell you over these years things just walk away I'm telling you and I just noticed this but it has a little port so uh, say if the batteries were dead or whatnot or I didn't have access to batteries if I had a six volt DC uh, adapter I could plug it in so that's even a bonus and then a dot size cuff and it, it's been pretty accurate and it memory memorizes up to maybe like 12 patients so i would say this is a good investment i'm gonna try to i, I i've had this for a while so i don't know if, i don't know if i have the link for this but if i do i'll leave below or something similar to help you guys out because i'm all about helping y'all and y'all helping me because we got to stick together. So. Let's see. Again, that's my husband cooking. So, Sorry if y'all don't like those sizzling sounds or whatever. Please don't troll me over it. Because a man's got to eat. And I can't starve him for this video. Even though I would like to. Because <laughs> he will shut the hell up with them sounds. <laughs> but I love my honey. So he could cook his food. And because he feeds us so good, but okay. Anyways, I'm just opening this up. So this is my stethoscope. And I feel like everybody on YouTube who's doing a what's in my clinical bag has this stethoscope. And yep, I I got it off of a link. Um, from but let me just show you what's inside mine. Um, I basically just have this cute little pink case with the silver little heart stroke stethoscope symbol. And then on the inside, I'm obsessed. I have the green, like, well, it's like a teal green, which everybody's been looking for these. Um, this little sanitizer holder, which is also a badge reel. 
so it has the little clippy and it has a clamp even on the back that you could just clip it on your waist and it also has a tassel so it was uh, about $12.95 at Bath and Body Works and I love it and of course I have my little uh what flavor is this it's like marshmallow latte or something like that a fall scent I'm a fall girl November baby Scorpios okay let me stop <laughs> Scorpio stand up so uh and then these are just some little scissors these are not my um, bandage scissors those are actually in my fanny pack but I'm actually an active LPN traveling nurse so uh those are in my work bag and fanny pack uh, babe. and the stethoscope inside is uh, by a no-name company. I don't really remember what company it's by, but it just says this. It says, hospital quality at Fry Care, your best caregiver. All I know is it works, and it was inexpensive, about maybe like 40 bucks or something like that. I don't know, but it works. And it came with like different earpieces and whatnot. And, oh, the inside of this, case also has like this pocket so you know it could and it's pretty deep on this side this side not so much deep but this one this side is you can see the thickness it's pretty deep so um depending on what you want to put in here i'll probably also put my pen light in here um i don't know where i put that in. i think that's in my work bag too so i need to remind myself to put that in there but um my pen light is very Hygiene wise, uh, I keep an extra deodorant. This is the Gris. I keep some more Bath and Body Works, some lotion, Japanese cherry blossom. Uh, we have to have these for clinicals and just it's good to have with Corona going around. Cover your eyes, cover your nose, cover your mouth, cover any entrance ways to your body because you just don't want to catch that. And I know I certainly don't. So. Um, this is a little case that my contactless thermometer goes in. And I keep a little hair clip because in clinicals, you cannot have anything on your neck, shoulders, so your hair should be up. So I would just, if I have braids or if I be having these kind, I will just clip them up or something like that. Then I have these socks, compression socks. I know y'all probably think they're for old people elderly people no sis get you some i got these for 9.99 at my girl uh dynamic nursing in cincinnati uh at her at her nursing apparel shop and they they're cute first of all they're actually very fashionable but um they also help with those long clinical hours even a long work day or whatever you know, and I keep an extra thermometer. So this one, this one you actually have to touch the skin, but just be sure to keep a keep it wiped down with a disinfect alcohol. You know, um, it goes in Celsius Fahrenheit. I got it from Walgreens, but just keep that for backup. And uh, pop socks is definitely necessary. I didn't even take the sticker off yet, but um, this one is by Encovo, maybe. But it so you know. Just boop, pop that on, press that, and it is so good. Already telling me that my oxygen is at a 96 heart rate at 62, 70, you know, it's accurate. But I got that in there. Um, what else? okay and this is so necessary i got this from dollar tree actually and it's just a little notebook and it has all these little cute little dibble dabbles that i normally would draw on my paper because i'm such a nerd but um i wrote i wrote clinical notes up here but it already bled so i'm gonna probably take that off or put some washi tape on it but um yep so this is this will be like when i go in a patient sorry one second oh god Oh shit. oh shit oh shit 
The lash just came off. <laughs> okay. <laughs> The show must go on. As y'all can see, I just scratched my lash off, but I'm not about to go fix it. Because guess what? We I'm to the end of this video, so that's it. Uh, this clinical book, I'm going to use this to like write notes. And uh, like say if I go in a patient room, just jot down vital signs, jot down, you know, whatever I need to know. Or some a word I might not know or something I might have a question about, I'll jot it down. And maybe like at the end of our clinical when we're doing a round table discussion, I could bring it up. I remember it. So that's what that's for. And I could stick it in my pocket, put it in my scrub jacket. Um, here's some more compression socks. I'm telling you, yeah, yeah, I'm not playing. Like, it's so necessary. And I think that's it. That's in here. Uh, extra ink pen. This one is a paper mate. All right, I'm thinking I should just take that one off. Yeah, coming up. All right, we gonna bring this on home because my family obviously don't want me to record tonight. So, um, this is the um, pencil bag I got for this semester and look at it, it's like a little monster. We're finishing this video for technical difficulty purposes. <laughs> but eyelash technical difficulty. Okay, so these are my favorite pens. And that's all that's in here. It's like every color of my favorite pen, which is the Bink, the Paper Mate. I'm sorry. I'm talking about Bink. The Paper Mate Ink Joy Gel Pen. And it's in 0 0.7 because I feel like the smaller the little ball the smoother writes this ink is perfect it's vibrant and these are the colors and they they perfect because i like to color code everything yep <laughs> so um i i guess that concludes our little video for today oh wait 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 one more thing one more thing um you need a pair of these because if you're gonna make flashcards, I got all these things from Dollar Tree. Um, this for to make this little index box card. So of course you probably wouldn't carry this with you um, to class because it's it's big. You could take the cards you need, maybe put them in a little pouch, put them in a little sandwich bag or whatever. But just for your at home studying purposes. This is a great container to store your things in. I personalized mine because, like I said, I love everything to be cute. Put these little eyelashes on. <laughs> How fitting. <laughs> it, that says conquer. Um, and then I have these little rings. And those rings, uh, those are what I use to just hole punch the edge of the card and make stacks. So for each section... I will make a certain stack like the first week we're going to do the nursing process so i have a stack about the nursing process the next week i think we're in nutrition so then there will be a stack about nutrition and i'll make little cute pictures on them and i'll make them very simple so that my brain my, i'm a visual learner so that's another thing being organized and knowing what type of learning style best suits you is the best advice i can give so Thank you for watching and best wishes to a new school year for all of you. Bye. Hey guys, this is my family. This is my husband. Bay, no. I'm back. This is my husband. This is my son, Brandon. Up, this is my husband, Mr. Sanford. Mr. The Mr. to my Mr. and Mrs. And this is my eldest son, 13, going to the eighth grade. Brandon. Hey, ooh, 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 ooh. Back to school. Back to school. You posting this? Yep. Oh, Lord.